You two are really good together. Thank you. So does your wife sing too? Oh, uh, no, no, I'm not married. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> wow. You're even better than a dog. Well, I'd better get started on that work. I have... to do. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta catch up on some, uh, some paperwork that uh, has to do with the... the office. Do you know where your uncle keeps the paper towels? I think there's some up there. Whoa. Whoa. Hi, you must be Alan. I'm Cindy. Oh, yeah, I can smell him. Smell who? Your brother. He has a very musky scent. Uh-huh. Well, I'll just, uh... Let you get to work. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's okay. This is Charlie. Charlie. Hi, Tommy, how are you? Pleasure. Alan. Hello, Alan. Hi. And this is Jake. Yes, I am, Evelyn. Let's not beat it to death, okay? Good to meet you, Jake. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are. Boys, this is Tommy's daughter, Olivia. Hello, Charlie. Hey there, stranger. <laughs> you two know each other. I thought I knew him. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> okay, who would like a drink? I would like a drink. Charlie, come and help me make the drinks. Alan, talk to Olivia. Alan was a cesarean. <laughs> it, it wasn't uh, medically necessary. She just had a function to go to. Smells good. So does the coffee. Charlie, stop sniffing the paralegals. Everybody out, watch your heads one at a time. Party time! Come on! So here's the deal, Uncle Charlie. I find you attractive. I have three kids, a bastard of an ex-husband. I work 50 hours a week running my own travel agency. I'm at the peak of my sexuality, and I have a three-hour window Wednesday nights when the kids are at Taekwondo. <laughs> you in or out? I'm sorry. I, I'm terminally hungover, and I just took a cleat in the groin. Email me. All aboard Gloria at AOL.com. How are you doing? Hey. <laughs> Charlie, walk away. This could be interesting. You got a nice swing. Thanks. Try stepping into it. You get more power that way. You mean like this? Oh, yeah. Dial one in the area code, because that is long distance. Shall we? Let's go. This woman is queer. We are lunatic. Yeah, but look at the passion. The fire. The ass. So what's the deal with your teacher? Miss Tuttle, she's very strict. That could work. It's an 11-year-old's birthday party. You could have at least put on a bra. Some of us don't need bras. Some of us have had husbands and children. Oh, I've had husbands. <laughs> and please, would you behave yourself with Charlie? What do you mean? I mean, I don't want a repeat of what happened in the coat room at my wedding reception. Oh. That was Charlie? <laughs> so what's going on? Nothing. Alan was sleepwalking. At least I hoped I was sleepwalking. Oh, sure. My parents used to put a football helmet on me and strap me in bed. 
You were a sleepwalker? No. <laughs> Good night, Rose. Good night, Charlie. Thank you. I had a wonderful time. Charlie Harper. Jake's uncle, mentor, pal. Now, for her, I'd stand in line for a butter squirt. <laughs> yeah, she is a hottie. Hey, that's no hottie. That's your ex-wife. <laughs> Judith? Alan? Sorry about the squirt thing. <laughs> wow. Look at you. New, new hair, clothes. You, you look... Wow. <laughs> thank you. No, no, thank you. It's a public service when a gay chick goes lipstick instead of lumberjack. Charlie? Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm gonna have to speed this up. <laughs> Charlie, relax. Just go downstairs and distract him while I sneak out. You're gonna leave? Hey, I'm done. No cuddling, no sharing feelings? I think I'm starting to like you. Save the sweet talk. Just remember our deal. You know, it suddenly occurs to me, I'm usually the one sneaking out when the man gets home. Charlie, go. I thought it was a fun fact. Maple, 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 delicious. Your son is just adorable. Thank you. You and your life partner must be so proud. You're right. Go wait in the car. Honey, wake up. Good morning. You lied to me, Charlie. You said it was just going to be the two of us. I didn't lie, Bertha. Things change. Goodbye, Charlie. Don't leave me, Berta. I love you. Can we talk about this? I'm sorry, I do single men only. I'm in, I'm out. There are no complications. But I am single. Uh, Berta, I hate to bring this up again, but you just, you cannot put the peanut butter in the refrigerator. It gets hard. And, uh, and on a related subject, the peanut butter stains on Jake's shirts really require an enzyme pre-soak. I hope you two will be very happy together. <laughs> <laughs>